I don't want to get copyrighted. Let's turn this off. I hope you all are doing really well. I know it's kind of crazy right now. <laughs> and I know right now is insane. It's insane. So I just want to make sure that you all, I hope you all are well. Welcome to, back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fashion video. I feel like I haven't done a like sit down fashion video in a long time. And I got a lot of requests for this video. So today's video is going to be, as you can tell by the title, a Parisian style essentials video. I definitely think that there are pieces in my closet that like, like I know capsule wardrobes are really popular right now where people, you know, have like that set amount of clothing. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my absolute staples for my wardrobe that I need to like build my wardrobe. So if you're somebody who right now maybe is revamping their wardrobe, getting new clothes, or creating a certain style for yourself, hopefully this video helps you with getting those basic pieces that I wear all the time. Okay, <laughs> let's actually get started. So the first item, of course, is an absolute essential, is the little black dress. I feel like everyone needs one of these in their wardrobe. I have multiple of them. I have like sweater dresses that are black. I have summer dresses that are black. I think just like a solid basic black dress is essential. So I actually have two to show you guys. The first one is so cute. I just recently got it. So this is the first one I have. This is like a very simple one. It's a little wrinkly right now, but this one is a very basic one. Um, this dress I got off of Etsy actually, so it is custom. I believe she's still selling them, but this is a dress that is supposed to look similar to the one Audrey Hepburn wore in uh, Sabrina. I'll see if I can insert a picture, but it's so cute. It's a circle skirt, just a simple black dress. I also have this black dress, which is a little bit more casual. Um, I would definitely would call this like a summer dress. So it is kind of like this linen sort of feeling fabric. It definitely, I think it's cotton, but it feels kind of like linen. Um, and it has like this little bow in the front and it's just like a super flowy dress. Things like this are great. You obviously don't have to have it in black, but I'm just showing you black because everybody loves black and then this one is kind of medium casual i really love this dress i got it when i was in new york uh at h m it was on like a huge sale and i actually wear it backwards sounds weird okay so this is technically the back but i wear it backwards um i didn't realize that this was the front when i bought it i thought that this was the front and i really love the high neckline i think it's really cute and then i saw that the tag was there and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the front. <laughs> but I don't love it this way. So I wear it backwards. And that's one of the really cool things about fashion is you can do whatever you want with it. So I do wear it backwards technically. Um, it has like a little strap here. It's just like a really stretchy, just soft material, not too short. Um, just a little cinch waist, high neckline really cute all right next up are my summer dresses i think these are so great because they make you look so put together you can also wear a pair of converse with these and just have like a big slouchy summer bag this one is from old navy as well it's so cute um i really love old navy because they have a tall section so that definitely saves me a lot but it's like a tight kind of up here and then it just flows out and has like a little Thing at the bottom i love this pattern i also have this one which is adorable um this is just like a little polka dot wrap dress i wish it was a little bit longer um this isn't tall size so it's kind of shorter on me but it's not too bad this is inside out <laughs> but i got this from asos it's like another midi dress this one's a little wrinkly but this one's from old navy as well it's kind of like a wrap style with the really feminine ruffles and it's like a midi dress with like the, the thing at the bottom so cute this in the summer with some like sandals and a little like straw bag all right next up are button downs now let me go get them button downs are really great because they're very versatile you can wear them over top of a dress you can wear them you know tucked into a pair of pants like you can dress them up down like you can just do so much with them and that's why one thing that i really recommend it's wrinkled is investing in a really good 
white button down. Um, this is just a cheap one that I have. I think this is from H&M. I have so many of these. My favorite one that I have is from Gap. Um, I think it's in the wash right now. It's not in my closet, so. This one is my favorite button down to wear over top of things. Um, this one's from H&M as well, but this is a linen one. And I got it in a size 16, so it's really a lot larger than me, which is super great because it has that oversized look and the feel and the texture of the fabric is so nice. One of the things that I think makes something, like even though this was relatively inexpensive, but one of the things that I think makes something look more expensive is the material and this linen is just, oh my gosh, I love it. But this is like a little, I guess like denim button down. Again, this is really great to wear over top of things, almost as like a cardigan. There are some obvious things to have in your wardrobe, like crew neck hoodies, like sweatshirts, graphic t-shirts, things like that obviously I feel like are very, very basic. Like for one, for me, a good pair of straight leg jeans is essential to my wardrobe. Obviously everyone has a different fit of jeans that they like, whether you're a dark wash person, a light wash person, for me personally, I love a light wash straight leg jean. That's my favorite. It's really wrinkled right now. The blazer. I love a good blazer and trouser set. I think that is definitely really essential in my wardrobe because you can mix and match them, but you can also make a full outfit out of it. This one is from Target from a really long time ago. The thing that I love about these is you can pair them with a pair of black trousers and a button down and make it like an actual business look. Or you can throw on like a graphic t-shirt under this to make it more casual. You can throw on some jeans, like you can just do a lot with it. So I think having a black one and even like a gray one are essential. Next thing I wanna point out is pattern. I have two patterns that I feel like I wear a lot of. One of them being stripes. I'm a huge stripe person. Uh, I also do love polka dots as well. And sometimes floral but it has to be like that exact right floral, if you know what I mean. Stripes are definitely my favorite though. This is a guest shirt. Yeah, this is a little guest shirt. Um, it has like a little button detail and I would definitely tuck this in with some loose, kind of like medium wash jeans. All right, so as for coats, I love a good trench coat. Um, this one is actually from ASOS and it's like a plaid one, so it's a little bit different than your regular trench coat. I think obviously like a beige one is really cute. And it's also lightweight, so it's gonna, you know, you can wear it in like the spring and the fall and you don't have to worry about getting too hot. This is definitely my favorite coat of winter. It's from Gap. It is just like this long, gray coat. Wear this with jeans and a t-shirt and your outfit looks way more put together <laughs> or just wear it with literally anything. Anything with this makes your outfit look 10 times more put together. Like I wear jeans and a t-shirt all the time. Throw this on with some Converse, you're good to go. First bag I'm gonna show is the Iconic Straw Bag. These are so great for the summer because they're just light and really, really adorable. This is a vintage one, but you can definitely find a lot like it. Another really huge French style are tote bags like these, these cotton tote bags. These two are definitely my favorite. I actually designed these bags. I don't know if you guys know, I don't think I've announced it on YouTube, but I have a Redbubble where I create bags and stickers and t-shirts and all that cool stuff. I'm gonna link it down below. Um, I So yeah, you can actually get this bag. This is one of my favorite quotes from Fulton Sheen. And then this one is this one is the final doxology. These bags are really popular in Europe um, and I feel like they're kind of starting to become more trendy around here. So yeah. Lastly, we can't forget the classic mini bags. This one is from H&M, so it's just a tiny little bag. These are really popular right now and they're just so cute and also not that expensive either. Um, so if you wanna try it out, you totally can. This one's like a little shiny one, just to, Put it in a little, it's just, ah! So those are all of the items I'm gonna show you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully found some sort of inspiration from this video. I really hope you got something out of it. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a like and comment down below what is like your favorite thing you have in your wardrobe that you wear all the time. Whether it's a bag, a pair of shoes, t-shirt, like what is it? I wanna know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I, yeah. Thank you for watching, 
and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.